Hello guys, welcome back to Tech Projects. I am back with another video and this is the third part of the quiz tutorial app. And in this video, we are going to create a Java class. I will tell you what is getter and setter and how to use them. So every doubt related to this, how to create, when to use Java class and how to call a constructor, how to, how we can change our question in our quiz app and how we use our strings files. So every doubt related to this, I am going to clear in this video. So this video is going to be very interesting. And if you watch this video till end, you will definitely learn something great like what is getter and setter and how to use Java class. So don't further delay. Now let's start the video and see how to make it. So for this, I open my project. So you can see this is the project our quiz tutorial. So if you don't watch previous two parts, then first I recommend you watch two previous parts, then continue. So you can see this is here we our left our tutorial. So after creating questions, now one thing I want to tell you, I was add only one question in my previous video and other questions I simply copy paste my from previous one project. So you can see I give the name of naming convention like question underscore one A and option like question one underscore A question one underscore B, but the question which I paste from my previous one project, so the naming, it contains the naming convention like question underscore 2a, question underscore 2, 2b. So don't confuse between the naming convention. You can give any name, it is your choice. So maybe someone confused like uh, I give follow this pattern here and I give the different pattern here. So it doesn't, doesn't, don't worry. This is just a simple naming convention and you can give any name according to your own choice. So don't confuse between them. So now the main motive of this tutorial is now in this part, we are going to create a Java class. And we will see how to use that Java class for changing our question. So for this, first I simply create a Java class to so expand your Java folder. And now expand your package. Simply click on it. Now right click, then click on new, then Java class. Now you can give any class name. It is your choice. I, I simply give answer class. Now inside this Java class, first declare some variables. I have to declare six variables because why six variables? One for question, one for answer and four for options. So for this, simply declare a six variable of int type. So I simply type here private int. Then simply I type here option A, option B, option C, D, question ID and answer ID. I give this naming convention, but you can give any name answer ID. So now after creating these variable, now we have to create a constructor. So don't confuse. I am going to explain everything. Don't worry. Simply type this code for now and after just one or two minutes, I will explain whole code. So don't confuse and don't worry. I simply create a constructor for this. So I simply type here public, then simply type here answer class. As you already know how to create a constructor, we have to define whether it is public, private, and also we have to write the constructor name same as a class name. So our class name is answer class, but you can use according, you have to use according to your own class. Now inside this, I have to pass six parameter. So what are the six parameter int one for question. So I simply type here question ID, but be remember, give the different name here. You can see here I give the question ID bit, but here I add some extra E. So don't confuse, give the different name in constructor. Otherwise it's going to be crash. So be remember, you have to give the different ID names inside your constructor. Most important thing of this video. Now for option A, I simply type here option A. You can see I give the small A and not capital A. So be careful here. Now second option, option B, third option, option C, fourth option, option D, and the last one for our answer ID. So I simply type here answer ID E. So you can see I give the different name everywhere. <clears throat> now we have to use these parameter and also after using these parameter, we have to take values from these parameter of constructor and assign these value inside these variables. So later I will tell you how values come inside this variable. So don't confuse and don't worry. I am going to explain whole code first. First of all, simply type the code with me. So now <coughs> I have to assign value inside our variable, which is main variable and our main value variable is question ID without E be remember. And inside this, we have to value which I get from constructor. So here you have to type question ID. Now inside option A, I simply type here option capital A equal option A simple. Then what I have to do, I simply copy this code from here, control C, then I paste it three times and I replace it by B, C, D. And the last one is B, C and D. And only one thing is left. 
so by mistake i give here small d also so here you have to give capital d we remember because here you have to give on the left side we have to give our main variables which we declare above now the last one is for answer id so simply type here answer id equal answer id now after this we have to create getters so just after one minute i am going to explain every code so don't worry simply create getters here so simply press alt plus insert after this bracket after the ending of the constructor bracket simply press alt plus insert after this simply click on getter and now select all by shift and simply click on ok that's done now you can see our java class is ready now let's see how to use this java class for changing the question and how also see how to use our strings.xml for this so how we can access our every question so we are going to create an array and which type of array class type of array which i created now answer class type array so i am going to create this kind of array and i am going to access my all question with the, with the help of array index so this is the main logic so let's see how to create an array of this class type so simply i type private then your class name then two breaks braces then simply type here array name so i simply type here question bank but you can give any name to your array now simply type new then type again your class name then take two curly braces and at last simply add a semicolon now our array is created successfully now let's see how this array work so here you can see i create a constructor inside our java class and here i create the array of that java class so if i click if i create an object of this java class then our constructor get automatically get called so this is very simple logic as you already know if i create an object of any class then its constructor automatically get called so if you don't know java then first i recommend you learn little bit of java if i create an object then its constructor automatically get called so here i am going to create a simple object of this array inside this array so i simply type here new then how to create a constructor simply type your object name now my constructor what take it takes six values so here i have to pass my six things so what are the six things and here you can say this is our strings.xml so first i have to display my first question so you can store your question in any order so it is completely depend on you so i am going to follow one two three four five six seven eight but you can store in any order so here yeah, i have to pass what thing r dot string dot question one r dot string dot question one underscore a like this so hopefully you understand everything how why i create this constructor because if i create the object of that class or constructor get automatically get called and after calling the constructor the values or we can say option and the question and the answer automatically come inside these variables and after these variables we assign inside our main variables and here i use getters so now what is getter so whenever i want to use that info or we can say whenever i want to use that options and whenever i want to use answer of that particular question i simply call this functions get option a get option b so these are the benefit of creating getters and creating constructor so i declare a variable main variables here so i simply get the values from our main activity and inside assign this values inside this main variables and i simply create an getters because i want to use inside our main activity so simply i whenever i want this values i simply call this function so hopefully you understand everything now let's see how to send our data so in in the array index of 0 i simply want to store my first question i simply type r dot string dot why r dot string dot because our question store inside our string file which is under resource folder so simply type r dot string dot question 1 and you can see it automatically appear now comma now i want to pass first option first because here you can see i give the option a option b so you have to pass in this pattern so now question 1 a so in string dot xml you can see i assign my id name question 1 a question 1 b so i say simply type these names now third four r dot string dot question 1 b then comma again r dot string dot question 1 c last one is r dot string dot question 1 d and at last i have to pass answer so r dot string dot answer 1 then comma then after this now if i want to pass my second question i simply again I create an object of that class new answer class and inside this i simply can pass my second question 
सो डोंट कन्फ्यूज बिटवीन नेमी कन्वेंशन एज आई ऑलरेडी टेल यू आई गिव द नेमी कन्वेंशन हेयर क्वेश्चन वन अंडर स्कोर वन क्वेश्चन वन अंडर स्कोर ए एंड हेयर आई यूज नेमी कन्वेंशन लाइक दिस क्वेश्चन अंडर स्कोर टू ए सो डोंट कन्फ्यूज बिटवीन दम सो हेयर आई सो हेयर आई हैव टू टाइप यूजिंग अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस नेमी कन्वेंशन सो आई सिंपली टाइप हेयर क्वेश्चन टू यू कैन सी इट ऑटोमेटिकली अपेयर नाउ आर डॉट स्ट्रिंग डॉट क्वेश्चन अंडर स्कोर टू ए सो इट इज़ वेरी लेंथी प्रोसेस सो यू कैन ईजली डू इट बाई ऑन सो आई सिंपली कॉपी दिस कोड फ्रॉम हेयर I simply take a comma and press paste it and replace two a by two b, and you can see it working fine. Now again, go take a comma, press paste here, replace by two c. Then again, take a comma, replace here, replace by two d. Then again, take a comma, and now it's time to for answer two. So I simply type r dot string dot answer two. Now, if you want to add one more question, so in this way you can add as any question. So I simply copy this line from here. After copy this line, Control C, I press Enter. You can see I already take a comma, but don't forget to take a comma, and I paste this line here. Now simply change the name. So in this way, you can add as many question. I simply add eight question in my file in my class, but you can as add many question. So this is my question three. Now I replace it by three A, three B, three C, three D, and the last one is answer three. Now I simply paste this again, and this is for question four. Question four A, four B, four C, four D, and here I have to pass my fourth answer. <clears throat> Then pay, again paste it. Now this is for fifth, fifth A, fifth B, fifth C, fifth D, and answer fifth. Now in this way you can add as many question as I already told you. So I simply fast forward the video here. So here you can see I successfully added my all question inside this. array so hopefully you add also added successfully if you have any query you can simply comment down below now i have to do one more thing in this video and the next part of this video is going to be last part of the quiz tutorial app so i have to do one more thing in this video so we can simply assign an ids to these our text view so these are text view types and if we want to use these text view inside our main activity so first of all we have to assign an xml id into our java ids so simply type here private then option a so you can give any name here it is your choice option b option c option d then semicolon now it's an error so i forget to add the type of this so this is text view types now that's done now simply assign ids so simply type here option a equal find view id r dot id dot option a semicolon so come inside activity main xml file and here you can see i click on this button and i give the id name option a so you have to work your according to your own ids then control c i copy this line and paste it four time and i replace option a by b c and the last one is d and i also replace here now hopefully you understand everything and uh, i am not explain so much in detail how to use getter i give the only little bit explanation now in the next part i will clearly help to understand what is getter and how to use that getter so it is over for this video and and the next part is going to be the last part of the quiz tutorial app and in the next part we will definitely complete our quiz app so thank you for this video thank you see you soon in next video